Hey everyone, it's me Crafty Simmer, and if you have not yet joined the Crafty Squad, make sure to hit that subscribe button, as well as turn on that little bell to get notified whenever I upload a brand new video, as well too as leaving a like, as well as a comment. Thank you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Hunger Games. Hello everyone, my name is Crafty Simmer, and oh boy. <laughs> so, we are now on to part 4, aka day 4, of the Hunger Games. Emil currently has a kill count of 2. Um, he shot Nicole, and then he shot Nate. Um, which, it's kind of interesting, considering how, like, um, and he'll never go, never really go along in the series either. And, um, literally, Nate and Emil were having a conversation about something, and that did not go over very well by the looks of it. So, I don't know, I think Emil got kind of offended by his, by what, by his comments. Um, so, yeah, that is, oh, there's a fire. Yep, finally, there's a fire. Oh, but it's not down here. Oh, oh yes, it is down here. Uh, yeah, well, it's not my problem. Somebody else needs to do it for me. Um, luckily, though, Amelia doesn't seem to be on fire. So that's the good thing, at least, I guess? Sure? We'll say that much. Amelia isn't on fire, therefore she isn't at risk of death. Um, which, in the past, you know, if, if, if a fire does is to start... I can't do anything about it. Snorb! Fire! Fire! Who's gonna pay it out? This is the mood. This is a literal mood. <laughs> and Amelia is so upset by this. Oh my good lord. <laughs> this is fun. I like watching this happen. Okay, if they don't resolve this by 12, I'll resolve this. Um, because I think they are trying to resolve it, but they... Yeah. This is a good time. So, now we have a fire on the lot, and it won't go away. <laughs> Can I reset the object, maybe? Since it's burning. Can I reset this object? Reset this object? Put out the fire that way? No, I can't do that. So this fire literally has to die. Just this guy over here. Okay, good. The fire's over. Okay, so now... It is now almost noon. You are all screwed. Because, uh, yeah, we're gonna start now. <laughs> okay, so today's challenge, we're gonna do the treadmill challenge. Um, which means Heike gets the boot from the fancy house. That means she doesn't have, that means she's going to be joining us here in the game of fire. So we're gonna teleport everyone over here now. Okay, so basically today's challenge is going to be the treadmill challenge. And basically, it is the longest workout. So, like, whoever is working out the longest survives for the night. So, <sighs> um, we're going to see what happens. Once again, any bladder failures, any exhaustion, any energy failures will result in an automatic elimination. Um, so, they don't get the chance to, you know, finish up or anything. So... I'm gonna go ahead here, they're gonna run, and let's hope for the best. And plus two is wet, so that probably doesn't really help them. They're all tense, which will affect their moods as well. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so Rose is out. Which is funny, because Rose is like, well, okay. 
So honestly, it could be either Hunter or Meal that could win this because they're both athletic. Um, so we might see a meal in the in the Victor house today, and we might see someone else kill someone else, which is hooray! Finally, we're doing it. I'm so happy by it. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so everyone's still in it besides Rose. Rose was the first one to drop out of the game. So we'll see what happens. I am really gonna see what happens. Oh my lord. Oh, okay, there goes Emil. Emil had to go pee. So he's gone. He's done. Hunter is really hanging on for this victory. Like, he is so stinky. There goes Amelia. There goes Hunter. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me right now? <laughs> okay, so probably her being angry kind of gave her the advantage, more or less. Um, Heike, you need to stop winning these things. <laughs> so I guess Heike gets to go back to the Victor house for the night. Um, yeah, I was really kind of hoping we'll see something else happen. But Heike clearly, yeah, okay. Me too, Heike. So basically, I feel like anger definitely helped out in that situation. She kept herself going because she was angry, and so she gets to stay go back to the house. Okay. That's a mood. That's a big mood. So we'll see what happens now that Heike is back as a victor. She's taken her well-deserved bubble bath. Good on you there, girl. Honestly, I'd be doing the same right now if I was like that. Okay. Amelia, what's going on there, girl? You won the first challenge, and now you're, like, slipping. Can I just remind y'all that this is a game of life or death, not a game that, you know, like, you get to live after. Woohoo! No, only Heike gets to live, because Heike doesn't- Okay. I'm a little bit tilted by this, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting Heike to win twice. Okay, so... Oh boy. So right now, everyone is currently taking care of their needs, and getting ready to go for what will likely be a nightmare ahead of us. And I think they're kind of getting less interesting because I don't have MCC, uh, my master mod installed right now. Um, it was causing issues. I think it's because I had, like, a lot of, like, the story progression things on. So it was, like, running checks every single day, which was causing massive lag spikes. So I think I might have to set it to, like, never. Um, so, yeah, like, at, like, 6 p.m. every day, it would start lagging out on all my saves. So I think that was the issue. So, we're just going to put it back in, put on what I want to have on, and then totally ignore everything else. Alright, it's currently 3 o'clock. They are not being very interesting right now because I don't have my master mod installed. And we'll reinstall that at a later time. Um, very soon probably, actually. I'm going to replace everything because I don't like the look of it. It kind of tilts me when it's like this. We have to clean up the floor and stuff, too. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of it. So I'm really kind of hoping, though, that we'll see another another person kill someone. I'm not gonna lie. Because so far, Emil has killed everyone, and I kind of want to see someone else, you know, do the killing instead of Emil. So we'll see what happens. I'm not sure why the heck they're doing this. But whatever, it's fine. This is what happens in this game. Yeah. Literally their life. <laughs> now they gotta shoot everyone out of this back room. Nope, too late. Too late. She peed herself. Oh, well. Well, she's in the shower. She can go take a shower. I don't have to suffer her over here for a little bit longer. Yeah, no. These sims are, like, doing, like, all this stuff. is really not helping each other right now. So... Jeez. <sighs> These sims are trying to drive me mad, I'm not gonna lie. 
Like, because, like, they're so uncomfortable. Their moods are so low. But I can't do anything about it unless it kind of hinders their ability to participate. Um, so I took away that moodlet because I want her to be able to participate. So I feel like that that might trigger some things. So it is right now, and it looks like that Hunter and Rose are having an I mean, Hunter and Amelia are having an argument. So we'll see how this goes for everyone. Maybe we might see and maybe we might see another murder tonight. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we'll see another killer tonight instead of just a meal. Okay, so it is good. I'm gonna at around 7:40 start moving them into here. And then we'll start the murder games. Okay. Okay, so they're all moved into here now. And I'm just going to do what they want in here for a little bit. And then at 8 o'clock, I'll turn on the mod and then we'll get them to kill each other again. Alrighty, it is now 8 p.m. We're going to check to make sure the hikey is still enabled to not be killed. I cannot even talk to her. Okay. Um, let's see here. So hikey should still be excluded. Yeah, so she won't get killed today. We're going to go ahead here though and we're going to start enabling all of these sims now though to get to get murdered basically. It's fine. Everything's fine. So I'm going to go ahead here, we're going to do extreme violence, and we're going to go into enable autonomous killing for everyone but Heike. And then we'll also as well include her in the death. <laughs> Options, um, enable aut anonymous killing for this sim. Okay. Woo, here we go, another death, another murder, we're all good to go now. We'll see what happens. Oh, what's this? No, chat, okay. Chat. Chat. Oh, finally! Finally! Another murderer. And then as soon, okay. So I'm just gonna make sure no one else has a one not in the queue. Yeah, so basically the only one that is ready to go and kill someone is Christina. We're going to go ahead here. We're going to disable autonomous killing for everyone but her. Disable autonomous killing for these two sims. Yeah. Those two sims. And then we're going to do, we're going to turn him off. Disable autonomous versus disable. We're going to disable autonomous killing for him. And then I don't think she has... I don't think she was disabled. I think... We'll double check. Um, No, she is disabled. Okay, so I think Hunter McKenzie is the only one that isn't. But he's dying anyway. <laughs> Um, but we're just going to make sure that we're just going to avoid all that mess. And then once Christina kills him, we're going to go ahead. Woohoo! Oh my good lord. A bad day for, uh... A bad day for Hunter to lose that challenge, eh? Oh my good lord! I love how he's, how he's been, like, killing everyone. Now he's just kind of like... Oh boy. No one's safe in here forever, man. It's all good. Poor Emil. His best, his best friend just died in front of him. <laughs> oh my gosh, poor Emil. Alrighty. A murder has happened. No! Okay, we need to turn her off now. <laughs> oh my god, we could have had another death happen. 
okay, we're done. No more death. Amelia looks upset with something. Okay, good. Hunter McKenzie has been shot dead. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that happened. And everyone's just so chill about it besides Christina. Christina literally still has a gun in her hand. You know when Christina does not have a good day. And now this is number three. This is death number three, which means we have... This leads us to the final five. Basically. We're now at the final five. Hunter McKenzie's now dead. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put his grave right by Nate's. I can't believe that that happened. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So, but I will say though, finally, someone else killed someone that wasn't a meal. Um, <laughs> Heike gets to enjoy herself for another night. I Like, she literally watched that happen outside this window. Like, she's, like, eating her soup. Like, what was she eating exactly? I need to check before she puts that away. Can I can I figure out what she what she had before she throws it? No, it's empty. So therefore, it's just a bowl. Okay. Well, Heike survived that challenge. It's beautiful. It's fine. And Christina passes out on the floor. I love this game. I really do. It's kind of tilting my sim playstyle. I take care of all my sims fairly well. Um, so this is really going against my playstyle. And it's kind of tilting me. Okay. Anyways, though, that is the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's, yeah. It's been a pretty crazy party. Not gonna lie. We're gonna get that rid of him. And, uh, yeah, it just, wow, okay, I'm so happy, though, that we finally get to see that. Oh, and I finally got this stupid achievement. What makes a sim tilt? What is she doing with that? Why does she have that gun? Okay, that made me very nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, they're having a mud fight now. <laughs> I guess make the best out of a situation. Sure. Anyways, I will see you guys all in the next part. Bye there, guys.